Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me on. All right, Jonathan, where are we seeing the biggest impacts from this rain right now? So overnight, it was really from uh, from Worcester County up into North Middlesex County is when we got the heaviest rain. Up at around 3 a.m., we started getting a lot of reports of flooding and uh, really sent our crews out to try to address those, clear those drainage from, from whatever storm debris was clogging them. But uh, right now, our focus area is on uh, southeastern, really on, on the Cape. But you just heard Katie talk about Freetown with uh, Route 24 being underwater. Those are real problem areas that we expect they're going to be lasting for a while. Even, even after getting in and clearing this drainage, a lot of these receiving waters are very, very high. So it's going to take some time for this to uh, really drain out. That's why you're seeing that some of these flooded areas are taking so long to clear. And we're, we're also seeing some of the areas uh, directly right in the city of Boston, too. This has almost been kind of whack-a-mole for you guys. It's been, you know, things are popping up, you're trying to get it, and then another one comes up in another location. Yeah, the problem with these type of heavy rain events is that it takes some time for the, uh, for the, for the rain to really get to where it's going. And so one of the things we're really worried about for the rest of the day is that there's a number of these rivers and streams that are not going to be quite at their flood elevation yet. So they're going to continue to rise for the next few hours. We're really worried about those as far as washouts go. So we're keeping a close eye on them. But you're right. These are, these are issues that are going to pop up all over the place for the next hour or so. So as we talk about that, that the flooding is going to take some time to recede in some areas. What are the biggest challenges that your crews are dealing with out there? Is it clearing storm drains? Is it getting the debris off the roads? What are they encountering when they get to these particular situations? Well, it's really it is getting those two things cleared. So as soon as we get the reports of them, we want to get them opened up as quickly as we can. One of the more challenging things, though, especially when this is such a widespread event, is really putting those detours in place to make sure that people stay safe and that they don't drive into them. And, you know, I can't stress enough, if you see an area that has high water, especially if there's a detour or warning sign, you should just turn around. It does not take much water to flood out a vehicle or to even sweep it away if it's fast moving. You really don't need much more than four to six inches before it gets problematic for you. We have certainly seen that this morning. Jonathan Gulliver, we appreciate you spending a few minutes with us, which I'm sure is a very busy morning. We uh, wish that you and your team and crews out there stay safe this morning.